Section one, creating and optimizing your channel the right way. So every time that I start a new YouTube channel, I have a certain process, certain settings that I implement, and it's all in a chronological order that I follow. So there's three ways to get started with this chapter, right? You can create a brand new channel from scratch. You can use one that you already have, or you can buy a monetized channel. And so we're, we're going to go through each of these and you can kind of decide which one you think is going to be best for you. So to use an existing channel that you already have, it's important that you only do it if you don't care about it much and you have to make sure that it's in the same niche, right? Because if, if you have a channel where you're uploading videos with you and your friends playing golf, you can't just all of a sudden start uploading scary stories on that. It's not going to work out. Second thing, you have to make sure it has no copyright issues, no community guideline strikes, and what type of channel is it? Like I said, if, if it's a personal channel where it has a real audience on it, people who know you, they're gonna unsubscribe, they're gonna, it's gonna mess with the analytics on the new videos if it's somebody entirely new on the channel. They're, like, they're gonna get confused. And the last thing is looking at how large the channel is. If you have more than 2,500 subscribers or you're averaging over 5,000 views per video. That's way too much to make a change, right? There's too many people. It's gonna mess up all the important viral determining analytics on the videos. And you know, if, if you have a channel like that, good for you, but keep it separate, right? Don't change it up just for this. So the second option, getting a monetized channel. Th this one is probably my favorite because you're gonna be able to expedite the cash flow if you do this. And the reason, is in order to make money from ad revenue on YouTube, which is the main method that I, I've used and the main method that I'm gonna teach you how to use, you need to have at least 1,000 subscribers and you need to have 4,000 public watch hours within the last 12 months, right? And so for any of you who don't know how hard it is to get 4,000 public watch hours, roughly um, it takes most people six to nine months to reach that point. Right? Some people do it sooner, some people take longer, but on average, it takes around six to nine months to reach that point. Right? And then once you do reach that point, you have to apply. You have to apply for the YouTube Partner Program. You gotta have 4,000 public watch hours, 1,000 subscribers before you even apply. And so once you do apply, it can take three, six, 12, or even 16 months Right, it varies significantly based on several factors, but if you want to kind of skip that weight um, and you want to get a monetized YouTube channel, uh, there's a few ways that you can go about doing that. Again, you don't need one, but again, uh, <laughs> reaching 4,000 public watch hours. See, the thing is, 1,000 subscribers, reaching 1,000 subscribers is not actually hard at all. The hard part is the watch hours. So if you want to get one that's already grown, it already has a thousand subscribers, it already has passed the review process, it's already skipped that long three, six, 12, even 16 month wait period, there's a few options. Number one, you can buy one, um, but you do have to be very cautious because um, there's a lot of scams out there. A lot of people saying that they're gonna give you one and then they just take your money. And uh, often they wanna pay with something like crypto or PayPal uh, PayPal friends and family so that you know you get scammed and you can't actually get your money back even worse is they can actually contact YouTube tell them that the channel was hacked and then YouTube will give it back to whoever sold it to you if you want to purchase one I have a lot of them and so we've built relationships with legitimate sellers we've grown some ourselves um, and the bottom line is I just I don't feel comfortable sending people to random websites or sending them to third-party sellers um, only for you to end up getting scammed, right? Because that, that would be my responsibility because I'm the one who sent you there. What I want you to do is click the link below this video and if you want one for free, it's on the same links, right? So if you click the link below this video, there's gonna be a video on that page. It's gonna talk more about this. So again, that link will be down below this video. The third option is creating a new channel completely from scratch. Now, this option is best suited for people who don't already have an existing channel or 
you either don't have enough money to buy one after you, you know, checked out the link below this video. If you decide to create a brand new channel, it's very important that you create a new Gmail account only for that channel, right? Don't use an email that you already have. And so before, you know, we go and create a Gmail account, you got to pick the name for the channel. And the reason for this is because we're actually going to create the email with that name. So for example, if your channel is named top trending, your email would have, you know, something top trending at gmail.com. And the reason we do it that way is we're going to place it on the about page on our channel. That way brands can reach out to you to contact you about sponsorships. And it's going to just, just going to look more professional that way. And so picking a channel name, a lot of people overcomplicate it and I, I'm guilty of it too. I literally used to spend days, if not weeks thinking of one when I was first starting a new channel. And I don't want you to go through that, but um, it, it is important to understand that having a well thought out channel name can make all the difference in the long run. So you don't have to do much thinking because I've created fill in the blank channel name templates to make this process take no longer than five minutes. So make your channel name with one of these words right here combined with a relevant word for your niche. Right, so we got you know top, trend, vids, central, best, nonstop, mister. Um, and so an example of this is let's say you're in the scary videos niche. You would take um, you know spooks and you would name your channel Top Spooks, Chilling Scares TV, Top Scary Vids, Scary Hub, Best Scares, Mr. Spooks. You see the idea here? And, th and this is universal for, for all niches. So if you're in the food niche, you could name your channel um, Mr. Food, <laughs> right? Um, because most of the cash cow channels on YouTube have one of these words combined with a word from their niche. So examples in the tech niche would be Mr. Tech, Nonstop Tech, Tech Loop, you know, Top Tech Vids, King Tech, Tech Wave. Right, you might be asking yourself, well, Dylan, you know, that's great and all, but isn't there going to be like hundreds of channels with the same names? Well, no. And the reason for that is because you're going to double check to make sure that your channel name isn't already a name for a large channel. So if we go over to YouTube here and we search up uh, Tech Wave and we filter by channels, uh, we can just see that there are none with more than 50,000 subscribers. There is one um, with 3,000 subscribers and it looks like a exact rip off of another one. So I don't worry about that. But yeah, as long as there's none with over 50,000 subscribers, you can make your channel named that, right? So, so pick a name here, you know, best, Mr. You know, King Wave TV, whatever, and, and you know, combine it with a word in your niche, pick a name, do a, a 30 second YouTube search to make sure that there's no other channels in that niche. And again, just in case you guys need to see it again, you're going to type in your channel name that you choose from right here. You're going to click the search button. You're going to see this filters button and click this and go to channel, right? So this is only going to bring up channels. You're not going to see any videos. Scroll through these, right? You don't have to scroll through all of them because the top ones show at the top. Make sure that none have more than 50,000 subscribers and you're going to pick that name and use it. So once you pick your name, what you're going to do is you're either going to create a new Gmail account, put that name on the monetized channel that you buy, which I show you how to do if you get one or, you know, change the name on the channel that you already own. So this process completely depends on which option you chose. Um, and it's also important that you download the chapter two PDF, um, not only because it, it's good to read through it, but also um, a lot of people have trouble finding the right link to create a Google account that also creates a YouTube channel right afterwards. It just skips a lot of headache, makes it easier. Um, I actually have the link attached right here. So you're just gonna click this link, it's gonna bring up this page. And so everyone, no matter which option you chose, you still need to create a Google account with that name because you're going to place that email in your channel's about section for brands to reach out to you to, you know, uh, give you sponsorships and stuff. You need to decide which options you, are you going to buy a channel? Or are you going to use one you already have? Or are you going to create a new one? Then it doesn't matter which option you chose. Everyone still needs to make a, a new Google account with that channel name. 
So we're going to make one for the course. So I would suggest actually put in your real first and last name because nobody's going to be able to see that. It's, they're only going to be able to see the, the email address. Um, and so what you're going to do is you're going to click create a new Gmail address instead because you don't want to use an email that you already have. So I would just do the... And so I haven't actually chosen a name yet, but I'm thinking Business King. We'll see if anybody um, has used that. So yeah, nobody has... This one has this TikTok business king. So yeah, no no channels have business king. So I'm gonna create an example channel as the the business king at gmail.com, which is already taken. So um, the real business king at gmail.com. So the rest of this should be pretty obvious. Just enter a password, hit next, fill out this information, um, and then you click no because you don't want to set up a business profile. And boom, it's going to bring you right to YouTube. So that, that's why it's so important that you guys use the link in this PDF because it's going to create a YouTube channel for you, right? You're going to click create a channel, right? It's already logged into YouTube. Everything's already done. You don't have to jump through extra loops. Click on create a channel. And you need to change the name to whatever you chose. And don't worry about the profile picture just yet. You're going to click create channel. And boom, there you go. Officially created your first channel. If you did it correctly, you should see a page that looks just like this. Okay, so once you're on this page, right after your channel's created, you're gonna wanna click on your profile picture up here. And you're gonna wanna click YouTube Studio. And it should take you to a page like this. And it also um, gives you some helpful cards here, kinda telling you what's all in here which I would actually really recommend reading. I'm gonna do a detailed video later on in this chapter doing a whole walkthrough of all this to show you around. But um, yeah, don't just click close on all these like I am, actually read them. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna click on the settings down here. Um, select your currency, go to channel, uh, choose your country of residence, and then um, don't, don't add keywords yet, we'll come back there. Go to advanced settings, and you guys, make sure you do not select the channel as made for kids, right? If you do, you're not gonna make any money. Select no, this channel is not made for kids, okay? Feature eligibility, you are eligible um, by default for the standard features, which is just, um, you know, upload videos, create playlists, um, but you're, you're not really gonna be able to do much with those, so you do have to verify your phone number Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to upload long videos, you can't even upload thumbnails, and even worse, you can't appeal content ID claims. So verify your phone number, and boom, phone number verified, super simple. Uh, if, you, if you don't have a phone number, then um, I don't really know what to tell you about that. Um, you might could try to use uh, Google Voice or, or maybe download some app, I don't know. I'm assuming most people have a phone number though. You want to click on upload defaults and select visibility as unlisted. And the reason I do that is because sometimes uh, some of my employees accidentally click the publish button when the video isn't supposed to go out and, and that kind of just prevents that from happening. Um, so advanced settings, uncheck, allow automatic chapters, uh, license, make sure it says standard YouTube license, category, uh, you can go ahead and select this depending on what your channel is going to be about really doesn't even matter so I'll just uh, click entertainment video language select English unless you are uh, starting a channel in some other language caption certification leave that on none title and description language you also want to set this as English and then comments you want to hold all comments for review um, because YouTube has a huge problem with scam comments so hold them all for review and we'll talk more about that later on um, and also show, my, show how many viewers like this video, right? And, and you don't actually have to click save in between these. So next we're gonna go over to community. Go to defaults and then check hold potentially inappropriate chat messages for review. That is for when you do live streams, which we're not gonna talk about right now, but later on in, in more of an advanced section of the course. And you are all set. So click save and you're done with that part. Next. 
you want to click on customization and for video spotlight you don't need to worry about that yet because you don't have any videos up yet but for featured sections what I usually do remove the default sections and you just want to start fresh so uh, first of all you can put uploads the next section you want to do popular uploads you want to do created playlists right so uploads popular uploads and created playlists so after you've done that you want to go over to branding right here at the top now you're not going to add a profile picture or banner yet but you do want to add a video watermark so what you want to do is you want to search on google youtube subscribe logo png right and you got to make sure that it's a square if it's not a square uh, you're not you're not gonna be able to fit the whole thing in so make sure you download a square that says subscribe you'll be able to find one if you search up YouTube subscribe logo PNG you'll be able to find one then you want to come back to your channel and under video watermark you want to upload the image that you just downloaded right the square subscribe image and so you want to scale it to size click done and select entire video now the reason that we do that is when people are watching your video this thing is going to show up in the corner the entire video right you don't have to add it in editing it shows up the entire video and it's a constant reminder to people to subscribe to your channel right after you've done that you want to go over to basic info and you're going to want to write a short uh, description about what your channel is about right <laughs> it literally doesn't matter just some, something short and then below that you want to you want to type out for sponsorships only and then you're gonna um, put your email up here right and so now people know not to email you unless they're trying to sponsor you and you're also gonna paste that down in the contact info and you're all set click publish and in doing so you just set up all of the settings that you need to set up inside of the channel right we got the sponsorships here to help people easily reach you to, to you know give you more money uh, we have the branding section constantly reminding people to subscribe to your channel and in the next section we're gonna talk about how to actually make a profile picture and a banner to make your channel really look professional and stand out so with that being said I'll see you guys on the next video